Well, in, when the magazine was first published, it was really a little booklet, and it was published to, as a sort of academic uh, uh, journal to keep the people who were the founders and uh, their target audience, which is the scientific community, uh, up to date on scientific discoveries about the world. Obviously, the magazine changed dramatically over the course of time. It expanded its coverage to be not just interested in geography, but also interested in people and cultures and artifacts and, and climate and space and science and all the other things that entail developments of the world. Um, and in doing so, the magazine has increasingly become more appealing to a larger audience. And the appeal came in the form of publishing pictures. The appeal came in the form of uh, adding map data. The appeal came in the form of being written to, a, to an audience which is uh, not quite as highbrow, maybe, and more of, of, of a popular uh, magazine. And the magazine's uh, real growth spurt came probably starting after the Second World War, and certainly in the 1950s, with the real boom coming in the 1960s, when there was great interest among American pa uh, families to have a journal in their household, which their children could pick up and read. And even if they couldn't read the magazine, they could look at the pictures and learn from the maps and study the maps. And uh, in, 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 the, in the course of that, absorb information and learn by reading the captions how to read. So um, the big appeal and the big growth for the magazine came uh, in the 1960s and 1970s, so that uh, by the mid-1980s, we had reached a circulation of over 10 million magazines.